Hey guys, so I'm sure that you had liked my previous video on Venice. If not, then you can go and check it out now. So today we are moving to our next destination, which is Florence. We're going to make this journey via train and I'm pretty sure that the train journey is going to be awesome. Florence is a city in central Italy and the capital city of the Tuscany region. The distance from Venice to Florence is around 250 kilometers and it takes around 2 hours to travel via train. The city is noted for its culture, renaissance art and architecture and monuments. It is considered by many academics the birthplace of the renaissance and has been called the Athens of the Middle Ages. By the time we reached our hotel, it was already mid-afternoon. We got ourselves ready and set out to explore the city. First, we visited the Ponte Vecchio or Old Bridge, which is a medieval stone-closed arc bridge over the Arno River. It is the only bridge in the city to have survived World War II intact. The Uffizi Gallery is one of the most important Italian museums and also one of the largest and best known in the world and holds a collection of priceless works, particularly from the period of the Italian Renaissance. At the heart of the city, in Piazza del Signoria or Signoria Square and in front of the Palazzo Vecchio is a fountain of Neptune which is a masterpiece of marble structure and bronze. Outside the Palazzo Vecchio stands a copy of the Michelangelo's David statue flanked by Bacchio Bandinelli's Hercules and Cacus. David is a masterpiece of Renaissance sculpture created in marble between 1501 and 1504. It overlooks the gallery of statues and sculptures in the adjacent Lozia de Lanzi. The best known site of Florence is the domed cathedral of the city known as Florence Cathedral or Cathedral di Santa Maria del Fiore. It was begun in 1296 in the Gothic style and was structurally completed by 1436. The nearby Campanile and the baptistry buildings are also highlights. The dome, 600 years after its completion, is still the largest dome built in brick and mortar in the world. In 1982, the historic center of Florence was declared a World Heritage Site by the UNESCO. The Palazzo Vecchio as well as the Dome or the city's capital are the two buildings which dominate Florence's skyline. By late evening, it had started raining, so we roamed around the city a bit and then retired to our hotel room. Next day, we had a scheduled guided tour to the outskirts of Florence, the Tuscan vineyards and the city of Pisa. So stay tuned for my next video. Bye!